Hi, AIDS Lifecycle. Tracy Evans, Ride Director here. Everyone at AIDS Lifecycle knows that we're living in a very difficult and confusing time. We hope that you're all taking care of yourself and doing everything necessary to protect your health and stay safe. Please listen carefully to the following message from Lori Jean, CEO of the Los Angeles LGBT Center, and Joe Holland, owner, CEO of San Francisco AIDS Foundation. Hello, roadies. I am currently traveling out of the country, so I am coming to you from my hotel room before the crack of dawn. And hello, riders. I'm here at home under San Francisco's new shelter-in-place order, but both Lori and I wanted to bring you an important update regarding this year's AIDS life cycle. Since the coronavirus public health emergency began, the Los Angeles LGBT Center and San Francisco AIDS Foundation have been following the guidance from public health officials on how to best serve and protect our communities. Most recently, the California governor, Los Angeles mayor, and San Francisco mayor have all come out with serious guidance to help control the spread of coronavirus. This guidance includes restrictions on gatherings, and it is unknown when these restrictions will be lifted. Because of this uncertainty, and our top priority being your health and safety, we have made the very difficult decision to cancel the AIDS life cycle this year. While we know that this is very disappointing to all of our riders and roadies, I want to assure you that we have not made this decision lightly, and we have made it in consultation with members of the AIDS life cycle community. This will be the first time since we began riding in 1994 that we have had to cancel the ride. So we are navigating uncharted waters. But Joe and I have the utmost faith that we will get through this because of all of you, our beloved riders and roadies. And we need you now more than ever. While ALC is being canceled this year because of the current public health emergency, the center and the foundation will continue to perform the life-saving HIV prevention and care work that our community needs. In fact, it's anything but business as usual at San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center. Not only are we providing the services we typically do, we are also using the expertise both of our agencies have developed responding to the AIDS epidemic to do everything we can to make sure that our communities aren't devastated by coronavirus. But as the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center are called upon to do even more, I have to be honest. Joe and I are deeply concerned that our organizations will not have the financial resources necessary to provide the care that our community not only needs, but that they deserve. During public health emergencies like the one we are currently experiencing, it is not uncommon for government resources, like the ones that fund our agencies, to be reallocated to the response. We also anticipate that because of the economic volatility surrounding this crisis, that private donations to our organizations will decline. These circumstances, especially if they are combined with the loss of millions of dollars in revenue to each of our organizations because of the cancellation of the AIDS life cycle, have the potential to create a severe economic crisis for the Los Angeles LGBT Center and the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. And that's why we need you, our riders and roadies. Rather than stopping your fundraising, Lori and I are asking you to do something bold. We are asking you to commit today to joining us on AIDS Lifecycle 2021 and continue your fundraising. Not only are we asking you to continue your fundraising, we're asking you to double down on your fundraising efforts to help make sure that the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and Los Angeles LGBT Center have the financial resources necessary to do our work in 2020 and 2021. We know that this is a lot to ask of you, but believe me, Lori and I wouldn't be making this ask unless the work of San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center depended on it. So come to our upcoming town hall on Monday, March 23rd at 5 p.m. Pacific time to learn more about how you can make sure that the life-saving services of our organizations continue, even in these challenging times. During the town hall, we'll discuss ways that we're going to be making ALC 2021 the biggest year yet. 
I hope that each of you will join us for the upcoming town hall so that we can answer your questions and tell you more about what we have planned. And I know it's disappointing that we're having to cancel this year's ride as getting together truly is the most special time of the year for both Lori and me, and I'm sure all of you. But I'm certain that if we can weather through this difficult time, we will all have the opportunity to come together in June 2021. Until then, on behalf of Lori, myself, the Foundation, the Center, and the thousands of people that we provide service for each and every year, I want to thank you and thank you for everything that you will continue to do for our organizations. Thanks, Lori and Joe. Everyone at AIDS Lifecycle is really disappointed that we won't be having the same event that we have come to love and expect. We are working hard behind the scenes to make sure that we can do something that will celebrate the spirit of AIDS Lifecycle, have us come together in some fashion, and celebrate your milestones while we all continue driving with fundraising and moving the mission forward. Please join us next Monday, March 23rd at 5 p.m. for a virtual town hall meeting. Details are posted at aidslifecycle.org and we will most certainly be sending out email reminders. Thank you and stay safe.